Oh my gosh, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> um, as always, something happens where my videos are cut in half or cut short or the ends are just blech. Welcome back. This is going to be a super short video of the end. This is part two of part one of the Christmas break homework for my students and a snippet of a preview of what to expect with my courses, my online classes that will be available for you to purchase in the very, very near future. So continuing on to number 34. <laughs> number 34, I'm just gonna move right on. Uh, reading from the top, working your way on top, then moving towards the bottom. A solution containing both starch and glucose was placed inside the model cell represented below. The model cell was then placed in a beaker containing distilled water. So this is the same diffusion through a membrane test uh, experiment that we did. Identify one specific substance that should have been added to the distilled water so that observations regarding movement of starch could be made. So we remember that iodine is what we use to test for the presence of starch, which is called the starch indicator solution. So the starch indicator solution, so this is our answer. One specific substance that should have been added was the iodine starch indicator solution. That is the substance, period. That is a substance that you add to your distilled water which is here, so that it goes from high concentration to low concentration and turns the some um, the artificial cell blue black, dark color. Next and last <laughs> question, which you already see that I have here. So, because I kept recording and I didn't know that I just didn't. Ugh, anyways, so this question is the last of the packet of the handout. Base your answer to the following question on the experiment setup shown below. So here we have a beaker, and here we have um, X's that represent the starch indicator molecule, which is the iodine that was small enough to diffuse through the cell, mem the cell membrane. And then we have the starch molecule, which is too big to diffuse out. So on, here it says on the diagram below, draw in the expected locations of the molecules after a period of one hour. So after one hour, you should have that the iodine, the in, starch indicator solution diffused in. So here we have our drawn X's and the starch didn't go anywhere because it's too large of a molecule to go anywhere, diffuse out. So they stayed in and I counted how many uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I made nine. And then I just did some random X's that indicate the indicator molecule iodine. So everything should have ended up in the bag. Okay? All right, guys. So that is the end. <laughs> that is the end of the video. Um, please, 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 please subscribe okay subscribe subscribe um to my channel uh let's see if this does it again there we go <laughs> guys subscribe to my channel especially if you are going to take the exam in january if you are currently taking the living environment regions and need extra support what I need for you to do is you need to message me, email me on topics that you've gone over in class. Sometimes teachers teach things that are not in the test or they just teach it for you to know and for you to be better prepared in college. So if your request, if you email and you request for me to go over something and I don't do it or I mention it in the video that I got it but I won't do it or I reply, it's because you will not expect to see it in the exam. And your teacher is actually teaching what's called pre-AP biology, which is not a curriculum that will end up in the Regents exam. So guys, have a fantastic rest of your vacation. We're all on vacation. Merry Christmas. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy, happy new year. Make this the best, the best new year that you can possibly make. Um, make it a new beginning, guys. If you didn't do good for the beginning of the school year, 
You have plenty of time to change. Have a fantastic, fantastic rest of your day, rest of your vacation. See you in 2020.